meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. How about a little taste of spring this weekend? It is on the way. Our temperature is going to be trending warmer today. I wouldn't call it a, a warm day, but compared to yesterday's highs in the lower 30s, with the mid and upper 40s, but we peak with our temperatures Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday. That's when we'll be up near 60. Now it's unusual, but it's not that rare for us to see 60 degree temperatures in January. In fact, in fact, 10 of the last 20 years, we've had our first 60 degree day of the year in January. The last time was in 2018, right around this weekend, January 12th. The record to beat well, both days, it's attainable. 61 from 1975 on Saturday, and the record for Sunday is 62 degrees. That was set uh, just in 2018. Well, we are not warm at the moment in Providence, only 24 degrees, but you can see that the mild air has moved into Newport westerly as well. Both of those spots are breezier than inland areas. 28 degrees in Smithfield right now, 25 in Taunton. Even look at that temperature contrast between Richmond and Narragansett. Mid 20s in Richmond and Narragansett nearly to 40. You want to feel like outside 17 in Providence, so you'll want your warm coat for this morning and again we'll be in the 40s this afternoon. We are dry and expected to stay that way most of today and tomorrow. Now I did boost our threat tracker up for later Saturday night into Sunday morning. We'll see some pretty good wind gusts overnight with a chance of some not only showers but some thunderstorms Sunday morning and then it'll be drying out on Sunday afternoon. Our live Doppler radar this morning is quiet. The clouds have rolled in as the morning goes on. Mainly cloudy skies temperatures by the end of the morning commute should be in the 30s inland and at the 40s at the coastline and then we'll climb into the 40s at lunchtime still only 43 degrees so again it'll have a chill still in the air but just not nearly as cold as yesterday mid to upper 40s during the evening hours and we stay quite mild into the night in fact temperatures will be into the lower 50s in many spots by the time you wake up on Saturday morning so here's where all the mild air is you can see the contrast here right along this boundary we've got our front and there'll be showers and thunderstorms out ahead of it could be some severe weather in the southern plains for today Day. For our region, we're going to see this warm front approaching and lifting through uh, northern and central New England. So again, the only thing we're expecting today, more cloudiness around. Those clouds will produce the threat of a sprinkle or a light shower across uh, central New England during the evening hours. Tomorrow morning, we're mainly cloudy. Could be some pockets of mist and drizzle, but not going to be much if any rainfall. In fact, we'll see our skies trying to do some clearing away from the coastline tomorrow afternoon and evening. Here comes the cold front. This is what's going to up our shower chances. So by Saturday night, we'll start to see the chance of showers increasing and we wake up to those showers and thunderstorms on Sunday morning. When you wake up Sunday morning, still near 60 degrees. Sunday afternoon skies will be clearing and we'll see the winds diminishing. Let's talk about those winds though. This is one of the drawbacks to the warmth today. We're going to see wind gusting at times over 30 miles per hour this afternoon and into this evening and tomorrow the wind gusts will be as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour. The strongest winds though likely right ahead of the cold front so Sunday morning could get a few gusts to nearly 50 miles per hour. Once that front clears you can see the winds diminishing in the afternoon on Sunday. Warmest spots away from the coastline on Saturday at the shoreline with the water temperature in the 40s. Winds out of the southwest you're looking at 50s for highs but inland spots approach that 60 degree mark in the afternoon and we wake up to that Sunday morning. Cooler Monday and Tuesday, but still not going to be running cooler than normal. We'll see some showers in the middle of next week. You get that updated for